If there's one thing I hate more than people who tell me to grip my hair, it's the fact that I still don't have my hands on an upcoming Ryzen 7000 CPU. Because did you know that these things are apparently going to be awesome? Because yeah, these things are apparently going to be awesome. And we just received what seems like the final specifications for these CPUs and, well, they are fast. According to the specs, all the CPUs, including the more budget Ryzen 7600X, will be able to boost way beyond that prestigious 5GHz mark, with some of the top SKUs being over 800MHz faster than the last gen predecessors, with speeds as fast as 5.7GHz. How is it even possible? Well, I'm not an engineer, so I don't know, but I, apparently it is possible and AMD is delivering it with the next gen CPUs. Combined with a promised high IPC improvement, plus the fact that all the CPUs do see an increase in the level 2 cache, means that these CPUs are going to be running laps around the competition like a doped up race car. Though do be in mind that when it comes to cache, it's just a pretty conservative increase in level 2 cache. This is not the same thing as AMD's 3DV cache technology. Because some world class genius at AMD looked at the performance increase that 3DV cache gave the 5800 x 3 d and thought, you know what, how about we not use this in the next gen CPUs? Now while there are allegedly Zen 4 3D Vcache CPUs coming further down the line, AMD, why are you gonna complicate stuff like that? Because the average consumer, and not the intellectuals that you and I both are, will have no idea what any of this means or why 3D Vcache is supposedly so important, so they are pretty much making these more complicated for no reason. Maybe one day companies will finally learn not to overcomplicate the product stacks. But that's pretty much just wishful thinking at this point. It's like asking for someone competent to be in charge of the UK. But apart from that disappointment, there's one more concerning thing about this leak. Because look at those TDPs. The TDPs shot through the roof, going as far as 170 watts. Oh, is it getting hot in here or is it just my CPU that's caught on fire? That is getting like dangerously close to the last time that AMD flew too close to the sun with the AMD FX 9590. Now thankfully most modern coolers will be able to handle such a hot CPU, but at the same time, yeah, it's kind of worrying, you know, because CPU is getting hotter is like the plant getting hotter. You know, it's pretty incremental and at first you may not see it as a problem, but then someone takes it too far and then uh, everything catches on fire. AMD, you've done it once before. Just don't go down that path again. But let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments below. And if you're getting any of these Ryzen 7000 CPUs when they drop. And hey, while you're here, if you love my channel as much as I do, just kidding, that's impossible, then maybe check out our Patreon, which is going to be down in the video description below. Because even if you give just one single dollar a month, it truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Down you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.